Hi, I am Dr. Gayana Ayas, Consultant and Head, Department of Nuclear Medicine and Theranostics at Fortis Hospital, Banergata Road, Bangalore. Today, I am going to discuss with you Theranostics, the most talked about topic in oncology. So, what is Theranostics? Theranostics is portmanteau, that is combination of the word therapy and diagnosis. Here, we are going to use similar compounds to diagnose as well as treat the patient. So what is unique in this modality is since we are using a molecule to diagnose and then treat with almost similar compound, the results go are going to be much better and it is going to be much safer to the patients with very little side effects. So what are the effective and most commonly used theranostics? Iodine-131 scan and therapy in patients with thyroid cancer, lutetium-177 or actinium-225 dotatate therapy in patients with neuroendocrine tumor, lutetium-177 or actinium-225 labeled PSMA ligand therapy in patients with prostate cancer. Today I am going to elaborate what is iodine-131 therapy and why is it specific in patients with thyroid cancer. Thyroid cells in human body have a very unique capacity to absorb iodine and this we are harvesting to treat the patients with thyroid disorders. So in a patient with differentiated thyroid cancers that is either papillary carcinoma thyroid or follicular carcinoma thyroid, we are going to give iodine-131 therapy based on the patient's requirement. That is, after the patient undergoes surgery, we are going to plan for iodine-131 therapy. And before this planning, we are going to do iodine-131 diagnostic whole body scan and we are going to get a blood test called as serum thyroglobulin. And based on the blood values and the scan findings, we are going to decide whether the patient requires further treatment or not. And if the patient requires treatment, then we are going to decide on what is the dose required to treat this thyroid cancer patient. And based on the dose administered, the patients will have to stay in the isolation ward for a day or two. And once the patient is discharged from the hospital, the patients will have to follow isolation so that the radiation burden to the others can be avoided. So you might ask, we are using radioactive compounds to treat the patient. Is there no harm to the patient? So the amount of risk carried is much, much less compared to the benefit that is the cure this treatment is going to going to offer the patient. Thank you.